called to talk about the job you've done. The investigation continues. 24 hours after President Trump's visit to Dayton and El Paso, new details have emerged that could have stopped the El Paso gunman. Plus, unanswered questions. A dozen people are without jobs tonight after a local restaurant closed unexpectedly. The owner's reason behind shutting the door so abruptly. Hostile work environment. The harsh accusations pointed at the Nelson County Sheriff's Office by former employees. News coverage you can count on. This is ABC 13 News at 5. We begin tonight with the latest on the investigations following those two deadly shootings in El Paso and Dayton. 31 families are now planning funerals as authorities learn more about the suspects and a possible missed opportunity to stop the shooting in Texas. ABC's Rachel Scott joins us from Washington where the president is back in town following his visit to both communities. In the 24 hours following the president's visit, grief has turned to mounting anger and frustration 